When you look at the deck foot anchor, you'll notice I often mention something called the Terra Shift feature. Now, what the heck is that? Actually, what it is, it's, it's in reference to these elongated uh, slots here for the fasteners, for the lag screws, and the embossed, or, uh, the embossed ridge that goes around it. And you might ask yourself, what's that for? Like, who cares? Why is that important? Well, because this is a surface-mounted system, and you've got multiple footings going on at a time over the course of a deck, it is possible, particularly in the northern climates where we're getting you know, freeze and thaw over the course of the winter and spring, that there will be asymmetrical forces. That is that the soil underneath your deck might not rise in perfect um, unison to, to one another. And so what happens when that occurs is that one footing might be pushed up more than another. One may stay lower because let's say there's a little more sand under one and therefore no water. When it freezes, there's no expansion, therefore it just stays steady. But the others might have more clay and more moisture in the soil. You freeze that, it's going to want to move. You get uneven movement. Of course, everything's going to push up and the one that sits down is going to get yanked. And it's, this little post here can get ripped off from the underside of the beam. And I'm going to show that to you right now. What I've done is I've placed three footings here. It could be three or more under a, uh, under a common beam. So here's the beam. And you'll notice the gap here. So what I did here is I tried to illustrate by raising these footings just a little bit more to show the kind of movement that you might see over the course of a really severe winter. And if you imagine that this 2x6 is your beam, I'll put it on this side here so you can see. What happens is the two outer post uh, footings have risen because there's more moisture in the soil. And this center one, just to illustrate the example, has less or no water under it. And so it's stayed put, it has never moved. Well, what's gonna happen is that because this is connected to the underside of the beam, it's gonna wanna, it's gonna wanna be in two places at the same time, which is gonna cause problems. So what we need to do is make sure that these these uh, screws here are, are, are not so uh, tightly embedded into the wood that it can't move. Otherwise, it'll rip off from the underside of this beam. And Terra Shift is a solution to address that very issue. So what happens is this embossed ridge here allows you to just tighten this screw just so that it actually makes contact. You don't need to go any harder than that. And we know, having tested this with tension uplift tests, that the coefficient, coefficient of friction is less than if, if these weren't here. And that is a big benefit to you because now this can slide up at a lower level of tension. It can stay connected to the beam, the underside of the beam. And then in the springtime, when the soil uh, thaws and everything goes back to normal, boom, everything drops down, everything's in level. And guess what? your beams have remained connected. So this is sort of an insurance policy. Let me just show you how it would be back in spring when everything is normal again. I'll try to do this without dropping everything, making a mess of this demonstration. Everything comes back down again, and there's your beam perfectly connected. So that's the Terra Shift system. It's designed specifically to work with the deck foot anchor. And it's another reason why you should feel confident that when you use this system that we've sort of thought through all the angles for you. I hope you enjoy the Titan deck foot anchor and that's your explanation of the Terra Shift. Thank you for watching this video. If this was helpful, please subscribe to our channel for more content like this. For more in-depth articles or to check out cool new products, visit our blog or our store at Dexco.com. And be sure to keep an eye out for us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest.